third party situation where are all the current energies are laying what do you need to know welcome back to hope tarot daily my name is angie i'm a tarot card reader from england this tarot reading is between you the universe and your intuition it's completely up to you if you claim it or not it's a timeless reading so it's relevant from the moment you come to contact with it whether it's when i can upload it or in 10 years time if youtube is still here at that point here's a collective reading but if you connect with your intuition and you're ready to receive the messages there may be a message here for you if you're a daily watcher the more you watch the more messages you receive and sometimes the more intense the message as well if you're brand new here and there isn't a message within this reading there is somewhere on my channel for you you've been connected with me for a reason so third party situation what's all the current energies recent past present and moving forward going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Down this side is you. If you ever wonder what deck I'm using, have a look on my website. I have the photos of all my decks with the names so that you can source them. In the middle is your person, down the far side is the third party. Um, let me have all the connecting energy. Okay. What's going on here then? Yeah. At the moment you're feeling a little bit shut out. At the moment you're feeling a bit shut out. So I've just got the hiccups. Um... So what is going on? It feels like your person in the middle, the person that's in the middle. So the third party is always down this side. I class the third party as the person who's furthest away from you. Someone that you don't have an intimate relationship with, and someone that you're not connected to. And the person in the middle is the one that connects you both. Um, and you are always closest to my camera because if you were sat at my desk, you would be either sat facing me or to the left of me. So that's how I make sense of it. Um, it. It feels like your person in the middle made you an offer and then said, yeah, but I'm going to come back. This is what I want, but I need to sort things out and then I'm going to come back. Um, the King of Wands reversed for you in in the recent past is the mess that's going on at the moment is the mess that your person's created now when you come into contact with this person and you've got feelings for this person you may not have known that there was a third party around now is the third party a current relationship they've got or an ex and it's messy um your person in the recent past had the Ace of Cups reversed. They made you an offer, then took it back. And then the Nine of Wands reversed. They really need to do something different. In the recent past, they've been making a massive mess with you. And it feels like a disappointment. And it feels like when you challenge, challenge them on them, on it, they may have been a little bit defensive, which doesn't help in any situations. Um, the reason that they're defensive is because they know they're coming back. They know that they've met you for a reason. They know that they want to be around you. So in their head, they're just like, well, I'm coming back. So that's that. Um, the other person connected to your person has a seven of pentacles reversed. This connection was abandoned quite a while ago. There's something still connecting them. I don't know if it's family, uh, work, maybe they have a business together. Um, there's something still connecting them. But it, it feels like this this relationship over there was abandoned quite a while ago. Maybe you're just wondering how much of how much your person sees your their ex and what is actually going on there. Um, maybe your person said, "Well, that's over and done with. I just need a bit of time to sort things out." And you're kind of thinking, "Yeah, well, if they're always there, then what is going on between them?" Um, we have the Five of Swords in the middle of them both, which is all about picking their battles wisely, there being battles, trying to work out, and this is the recent past, trying to work out what to do for the best for the future. 
Your person's not emotionally involved love-wise with that person, but there's other things. I don't know if it's family, business. Um, there's, there's something that they have to talk about. There's something that they have to have communication with. And if there wasn't that link there, they wouldn't have any communication whatsoever because they're not invested in, in each other like that. It's this joint thing. Maybe it's a child, maybe it's a house, maybe it's a pet, maybe it's a business, maybe it's family, friends. Um, maybe it's something that one of them's going through and the other one's supporting them a little bit. Uh, but then again, it doesn't really feel like a friendship. It feels like whatever's in the middle of them both, if that wasn't there, they wouldn't even be friends. So, at the moment, you're feeling pushed out. I love these cards. You're feeling pushed out with the Nine of Cups reversed. You feel like you're being shut out. You feel like you're not being told the whole truth. You, you want more than anything your person to come back in and sweep you off your feet and to feel happy at the moment. You don't particularly feel happy. Um, and it feels like your person's tying up loose ends. They have the Ten of Pentacles at the moment, which is their tree of life, a completion coming for them. And so when they said, I really want, I really want us, I really want this, this thing, there's loose ends I need to tie it up, maybe legally, may, maybe responsibilities and that, they meant it and they're, they're, they're in the process of bringing that to a completion or getting to the point where they don't have to be so involved. Um, <clears throat> they got the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, <laughs> they got the Knight of Pentacles in the middle of you both, which is slow progress. It's taken, taking its time, but they're very eager to do things properly. They don't want to mess you around. They don't want to mess themselves around. I think they're quite straight up and honest, although that's probably debatable if you didn't know that this ex was around when you first came into contact. But I think in their head they weren't together, so... And I don't think they were together. It just feels like maybe you're wondering to what extent and how close are they to their ex? What's going on there, you know? Sometimes exes can be messy and end up sleeping together. This isn't, that's not going on. I can tell you that, that's not going on. If you want to support the channel for free, put a like on the reading. It helps get the channel into the algorithm. The Five of Pentacles. The third party is going to be worse off. Once things have, the loose ends have been tied up, your person's got the Ten, ten of Pentacles. They're going to be walking away with far more uh, financial security. Um, and I've got a feeling the ex didn't want to let go. They, they feel abandoned. They feel shut out. They feel like it wasn't a choice that they made. Although if I sat down and spoke to them, I don't think they could see a future with your person. But they... They're, I think they're finding it hard to stand, get on their feet and get themselves grounded. Um, it doesn't mean that they want to be with them anymore. It just means they're struggling and that happens, doesn't it? Uh, we've got the Two of Cups in the middle of them both. Now with the Two of Cups, it feels like the mutual thing because the third party is not happy. <clears throat> your person's trying to tie up the loose ends and the two of cups can be about business it can be about family it can be about children the link that is still connecting them the reason why they have to be nice to each other the reason why they have to communicate in a very clear way um i think they both know where they stand with each other but there may be people around them especially if there's young people around that don't quite understand. There may be a certain young person between them both that's trying to get them back together because they don't realise that that's not how it works. You know, sometimes kids hope for the best. Um, so they're, they're going through that. And your person's genuinely trying to do what is right. Um, if this is your reading, let me know in the comments. You have the chariot mover forward. So this is feeling really nice. This is feeling really nice. It's your happiness, um, you taking the lead, your person coming towards you with the emperor. They're very sure how they feel. They're ready for it. They can give you the stability, but handing the reins over to you like, right, okay, so here I am. I'm ready for our future. Where are we going? What are we doing? Where do you want to live? <laughs> you know, where are we going on holiday? I think they're quite happy for you to take the lead in things. 
which is nice because they come across as a very strong person feels like they may be a little bit stubborn sometimes but it feels like they very much know what they want out of life so for them to get to the point of saying to you well what do you want where are we going and what are we doing where, where are we having dinner what do you want for dinner it's very flattering that that someone who's very clear about what they want out of life they're handing over the choice to you and they're happy to go along with it because they just want to make you happy so that's really nice the third party in the near future is moving on to the page of cups reversed which is finally accepting that i don't think they're not accepted that it's over i think the third party may be single for quite a while if you're not in a place of feeling secure within this connection that could play mind games with you of yeah well the ex is single so of course they're spending time together and of course there's something going on no the ex is single because i don't think they can face another relationship because of how they've had to relearn things especially if because normally in relationships it's very rare well my, what we should all do is 50 50 with finances we should all know like we should have our own bank account they should have their own bank account and there should be a joint bank account that pays the bills but sometimes in relationships you have one person that's taking care of all of the bill paying and kind of juggling all the resources and the other one just you know, wants to know how much money is there to spend and, and that's all they need to worry about. It may have been a situation like that where the third party is just like, I have no financial understanding. I don't know how to pay the bills. I don't know what, to, I don't know how to budget money. I don't know how to do these things. And it feels like they're going to be moving into a space where they want to be in control of that so that they have have that for themselves, which is really good. Um, your person's moving on to the Knight of Wands. Take an action. It feels like a house move for the both of you. It feels like them saying to you, where, where are we going to live? Are they moving in with you? Are you moving into somewhere new? Are you moving in with them? Where are you going to live? You're going to have the biggest say in what happens there. Um, and then there's the Fool in the middle of them both, which is a fresh, clean start. Um, a personal sense of freedom both of them go in their separate ways it feels like your person moving into a place of ready to really move on with you so that's really good if you'd like private reading they're available from my website um, I'm going to do a nine card spread for you and your person overall it feels quite positive it feels a little bit confusing at the moment because when two X's are seemingly close we can't help but think what what on earth is going on there and it feels like you've got nothing to worry about um do what's right for you always so let's do a nine card spread for you and your person what you need to know <clears throat> we've got the nine of wands determination you've got the nine of wands reversed down there which is you both can have to do something a bit different you're going to come through this period of time the star your wishes are going to be granted, um, happiness, satisfaction, cleansing, healing and moving forward together. Um, and the Seven of Cups, lots of choices about where you're both going next. And this is coming in after the chariot. You're going to have a massive say in where your future is going with this person. Um, it, it kind of feels like within their past relationship, they were the one that made all the choices and decisions where there's this time they they want to get the balance right they they need that balance to be there i don't know whether their ex just relied on them too much or if they took that position within the relationship but it feels like they're ready to have some fun and to share life and to share life choices and decisions uh, we've got the six of swords boundaries but also moving on to a better future together we've got the page of swords um there's going to be times when you both arrange things and they have to change their plans at the last minute because of the responsibilities that are over here i don't think the responsibilities are going anywhere but it's finding a balance and finding a way of moving forward there's going to be certain things that sometimes that you plan the, the last minute just gets cancelled. It doesn't mean that your person doesn't want to do it. It's just they've got priorities and they they feel like a responsible person. And you, you've got to give them credit for that, you know. There's not very many people 
after a breakup that will want to take care of the responsibilities that they have. Um, so we've got the King of Pentacles reversed. They may not have as much money as they want, but they'll get there again. Um, their money may be tied up for a few years or their income like being split out for a few years, but it will get to the point where that fixes and their income is all of theirs again. Um, we've got the Page of Wands reversed. Uh, we've got the Hanged Man making a sacrifice to move forward. And then we've got the Page of Pentacles reversed. There's no rush. Uh, there's nothing really here that you need to learn about each other. It feels like you both know quite a lot about each other. The Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, they're both reversed. It just feels like you're both being loyal to each other and keeping everyone else out of your relationship. It's almost like them also protecting you in a way of what goes on in your relationship is no one else's business and they cherish you and love you. You're going to be at a crossroads soon and it'll be a chance to move forward. It feels like you both move into a place or live in a place together and then another move after that. Um, I don't know what the time period is. It may be six months, it may be two years. Um, but it feels like you're both living together and then moving somewhere else together. And then after a two year period, their finances are going to change and they're going to have much more money to themselves and for the relationship and all of that. So that's what I have for you. I hope the right person gets the right reading. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. Thank you for being here with me today. If you've made it to this point, you're now part of the secret Purple Heart Gang today's affirmation to put in the comments to let me know that you got to this point is i'm ready for it i think that's an affirmation i'm ready for it stop feeling confused i'm ready for it i'm ready for it put it in the comments if you're a daily watcher hello i've been busy doing all my chores this morning i thought well, i'll get all of that out of the way so Rosie's now going through her phase of she's been sleeping in the kitchen and that's been going quite fine. But I think the nights are getting a bit colder. So the kitchen's like the coldest room in the house. So I think it's getting cold because this morning, all morning, she's been following me around. And every time I'm doing something, she'll be just sat staring at me, like literally next to me, staring at me. And it's like, I don't know what you want. It's like a baby trying to figure out, is she hungry? Is she cold? Is she bored? Does she want to cuddle? And it's like ticking off all the lists going, no, it's not that. And I think what it is, is the kitchen's cold. Her bed's in the kitchen. Um, she's grumpy. <laughs> she's fed up with it. She's getting fed up with it now. Um, she's been in my daughter's room. She come out of there. She's been in there quite a few times today and come straight back out again. She waited outside the toilet for me. She was watching me sort the washing machine out. Um, I've made her a bed in the corner of this room so that she can come and sleep in here with me in the daytime if she wants to. She doesn't want to. She's back in her bed in the kitchen, of course she is, because I put the heating on. Putting the heating on seems to have fixed her problems. <sighs> I wish she could talk sometimes, because I have to go through this list of what does she want? What is it that she wants? Because as soon as she's satisfied, I don't see her again. For four hours, she was following me around, watching me, nudging me. Um, all of the things. If you've got a little fur baby or a grumpy old fur baby that likes to let you know they want something but won't say what it is, let me know in the comments. I love it to pieces. It's just that period this time of year. So we've now got a bed up here for her. We've got a bed on the landing for her. We've got a bed in the kitchen for her. And tomorrow there'll be a, a brand new bed in the uh, living room for her. Um, a fluffy donut she's getting, so that should keep her happy. Although it might take her about a year to get in it, because you know what cats are like. You get them something, and they're like, no, no, I don't want nothing to do with that. And then it has to be here long enough for her to randomly get in it and claim it um, after you've given up hope. So I will see you tomorrow.